Hello guys and welcome back to this fourth video of Angular 2 series for absolute beginners. And in this video guys, I just wanted to quickly share with you how do we add any external library or any external CSS uh, to the project uh, generated by the Angular client. So guys, as we saw in the last video, this is our index.html file and this file contains uh, no links or no uh, no dependency to any uh, CSS or any library or any JS file or even nothing at all. So basically, uh, in case we need to add any external library, say a third party library or any external CSS, for example, say bootstrap CSS. So how do we go and load that into our current project? So that's what I wanted to show you guys. Basically, in this uh, project, if you need to add anything, uh, or any external library there's a step you need to follow guys first of all if you see this angular cli.json as you discussed in previous videos here we get to see this styles uh, object and this scripts object uh, both of them are array so in case you need to add any of the files any of the external files to your library uh, to this project you need to mention them here Okay, guys. So uh, I just um, wanted to add Bootstrap to this project so that we can go ahead using it for our uh, development. Uh, so to uh, exam to add this Bootstrap uh, to the project, what you need to do is first step is you need to install the Bootstrap to this uh, project to your Node modules. So this is the command for adding the Bootstrap module to the uh, uh, current project. Uh, npm install bootstrap at the rate next so this will uh, load the official bootstrap package from npm package manager i have already loaded this file into my system so bootstrap is installed into my system so i'll not run this command right now but you guys can go ahead and run this command and get the bootstrap package installed onto your machine so once uh, you guys are done with this you will find this package right inside this node module folders Whatever you install from your npm package manager gets gets installed here inside this uh, npm uh, sorry node underscore module project. So you guys can find Bootstrap somewhere here. Yeah, right here it is. So go inside this. This is a dist folder, distribution folder for this project, and then CSS, and then this Bootstrap.css. So this is the path that you need to add to this style array. So the first one is style.css uh, which is generated by Angular client at the time of generation of this project and, 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 and right here guys this is it. The second one is, uh, sorry ignore this, this is not what we are using right now. Uh, the second one is, um, okay the second one is available at this path so I have mentioned this path here and it will automatically automatically give me all the styles preferred from bootstrap.css the same thing goes for scripts guys if you want to uh, use any third party script first you go ahead and load the npm package for that script and then you can provide the path to all those scripts uh, right here so the order in which you give this path uh, to this array are also important because the scripts are loaded and overridden in the same way so now uh, after doing all this you need to run once again your webpack manager if you are already running it you need to rerun it so that it will install and uh, it will basically load the style sheets from the given path and will uh, provide them to your browser so i have done all that guys uh, let me show you how this seems to be on browser yeah here it is so whatever styles you generate or whatever styles you load in this manner all get bundled in this style.bundle.js and are provided to your browser as a script and then similarly if you do something for scripts uh, i have not done anything for scripts right now i have not loaded any extra script so i can't see here any scripts.bundle otherwise guys once you uh, once you add some script to this folder here then uh, you will be seeing all those scripts bundled in scripts.bundle.js So this is how you add external dependencies to your uh, Angular project 
so you you might want to go to this link and see the description of all that I told you right now this is how you can see this is done for the scripts also so basically I will give you this link in the description you can go ahead have a look at this and uh, by the time of our next video get the bootstrap uh, style fit uh, included in your project so guys that was all for this video i'll see you in the next one thank you